All right, so Twig went over the referee position, and I'm going to go over the other position, which is which is back judge. Um, I know said you did 7v7 flag football, but you three didn't do flag football. Okay. Um, so you kind of, I mean, some of the back judge stuff is pretty similar to 7v7, but I'll still you know explain everything. Obviously, um, the first thing is that the referee is going to be the one you know on the line to or on the line and going to be next to the quarterback kind of with all the players. Um, the back judge is going to be about 15 to 17 yards away from the line of scrimmage, okay? Um, so 15 to 17, this is about 17 from the teal line. So you don't, I mean, it looks kind of close. You know, you think 17 yards, maybe a little more. Um, but yeah, you don't want to get too far away as back judge. You know, we only have two officials, so, um, but you also don't want to be too close. So just kind of give yourself a marker. You'll get more used to it, um, you know, as you officiate more, um, kind of what the distance is, but that's the, the general first starting position, okay? Um, the main responsibility, Sid, do you remember of back judge in 7v7? What's the one thing you don't want to do when you're back judge? Don't let anybody pass you. Yeah, so don't let anybody pass you because, you know, there's your last, your last official there. Um, so what we say is you don't want to get beat deep, okay? So given um, there's eight players on the field at a time, it's a lot of offense, a lot of open plays, a lot of long passes in 4v4. Okay, so that's why the back judge is very important that they don't get beat deep and they're make sure they're watching their matchups. So um, whenever you are back judge, um, your first step, so your first positioning after the play starts always should be back. So if I'm right here, I'm back judge line or uh, the player says hike the first steps i should be kind of taking a few steps back okay just because you want to feel out the play but you also there sometimes are those go routes you know when everybody's just sprinting down that you don't want to ever get beat okay um you know like you said you have a 17 yard head start so if anybody's that fast then either they're really really fast or you're really really slow so or you didn't go backwards so just remember to um you're the last person so you don't want to ever want to keep everything in front of you okay um Meaning, so if the referee kind of has, I know we didn't go over penalties yet, but they have a lot of like the line penalties, like false starts and, uh, you know, like encroachment of, you know, or anything like that, um, illegal snaps, delay games. The main penalties that the back is going to have are those live ball during the play. So um, if you watch football, a lot of pass interference um, in our game, flag guarding, um, any sort of. You know, on sports like maybe after the play, any illegal substitutions, that's going to be coming from the back judge primarily, okay? So just know that a lot of the live ball penalties, you know, is probably going to come from the back judge more or less, okay? Um, secondly, the other more most important responsibility for the back judge is to get spots in 4v4. So, um, like I said, a lot of those plays are going to go a little bit longer, so the referee is going to be you know, still kind of back with the play, back with the quarterback. So that means the back is going to have to get a lot of those spots. Okay. Most of the time, those spots will be close to you just because, you know, the passes are going to be intermediate to long routes. Most of the time, there's not a lot of short routes, but um, even if it's short, the back is going to have to come up, get the spot, um, hand it off to the referee so then they can move the pucks. Okay. Um, if you have any penalties during the play, so which will affect, um, you know, where we spot the ball next. And just make sure you blow your whistle, doubles with your whistle, we'll tell you how to do that. Um, kind of with doing the whistle blowing later tonight. Um, but you just want to make sure that you know um, to not move the pucks if you do have a penalty, okay? So don't get beat deep, get the spots for the referee to put the pucks down, okay? It's two main things, all right? And lastly, I believe, I think I went over, I'll go over the field too. Um, Goal line mechanics. So whenever we get down, I kind of all go over the field now. So the field, the way the field's going to be set up in 4v4 um, is we have a goal line, a 20, and a goal. So it's uh, and then adding the end zone, it's a 60-yard field. I think they, that was in the um, PowerPoint yesterday. So um, if you see these three lines right here, so this would technically be the goal line. We'd have pylons set up 10 yards back. The middle line would be the 20, and then the goal line, another goal line would be on the opposite side with another 10-yard end zone. Okay. Um, that is the way the field's gonna be set up. So whenever we have are within 10 yards, so this second line right here to the teal, that's 10 yards. And this and the second line to there is 10 yards too. Okay, so this is 20 yards. Okay, so that's how long 10 yards is. Whenever you're back judge and the play is starting within 10 yards, we want you on the back line of the end zone. So um, you obviously have the goal line, but then the back line is the one that's out of bounds and, and further out, okay? Whenever it is 10 to 20, so if the goal line is the teal line and we're within this line and the 10-yard line, we want the back judge to be on the goal line, okay? And if the play happens to push you back, then go back, and the referee should be able to pick you up after that, um, get the goal line after that. But 
the initial starting positions between, between 10 and 20 are going to be the goal line, and then within 10, it's going to be the back line. Okay. Does anybody have any questions on back judge responsibilities or anything that Matt said about referee or anything about back judge? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you won't need it. You won't have to worry about that. Okay. Yeah, just make sure that, like I said, the back judge's responsibility is getting the spots and not getting beat deep. Okay. They're gonna get the back judge is gonna be responsible for most of the scoring plays just because the referee is gonna be up front. Um, so just make sure that you are keeping everybody in front of you and um, you know you're watching your matchups. Okay.